Welcome to our continued coverage of the TIA Network of the Future Conference. We're here with Manish Singh, Vice President of SDN and NFE Solutions, Tech Mahindra. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Let's talk about NFE. Can you tell me how network economics is changing with NFV? Oh, network economics. Uh, it just so happens, you know, this week uh, at TIA 2016, uh, I was just on a panel uh, talking about the uh, network economics and NFV economics, and uh, it's really interesting, very interesting times. I mean, if you, if you look at the growth of data that's coming on the networks, I think whichever way you want to slice and dice the numbers, you look at number of users, number of devices, number of app downloads, uh, number of different kinds of uh, uh, ways uh, the consumer is now consuming data, continues to drive tremendous amount of traffic and uh, we continue to see this exponential traffic growth doubling every 12 to 18 months on the networks. And if you look at 50% of that traffic, plus or minus, is video and video in itself is becoming heavier right as we go from this very hd content to 4k it's going to get heavier right so that continues to push all this tremendous amount of traffic now that's great but so far whatever we have seen is just the tip of the iceberg because what lies ahead is even more growth more demand for data and you know, there are multiple ways you can look at the network. I'll just share with you three key vectors, say, for number one. Uh, if you look just from number of connections perspective, we today have, what, some four billion plus uh, uh, mobile devices that are connected on the networks, plus or minus. Uh, that is going to go to 50 billion, plus or minus, with Internet of Things. So you, you, you can see the fold of connectivity increase in itself that needs to be done. I said video is the heaviest content that's driving a lot of this traffic on the networks. Well, you know what lies on the horizon? Virtual reality. And a minute of virtual reality video, if you look at the, the, the heaviness of that content, this video just dwarfs in comparison. So we're going to see even heavier content. Talk about latency. We talk about connecting all these different things. Uh, the use case of driverless car, where you know, in L case of LT, we got to sub 100 millisecond on latency. That's not good enough for a driverless car because you know what, driving at 60 miles per hour, that car will move three meters within 100 milliseconds. So we need to drive the latency down. And all of this and more uh, is going to, in a nutshell, is going to put more demands, more pressure on the networks. And the current model of building the networks node by node, appliance by appliance, is not sustainable. The network profitability is at risk. And that is the fundamental driver behind SCN and NFE as to how we alter the network economics. Make it better, make sure that the networks are profitable, sustainably profitable, and meet the need of all these growing demands and use cases that are going to come on the network. What are some of the compelling innovations coming out of open source? Well, so, you know, I mean, to, to meet a lot of these uh, traffic demands that I talked about, right, SD and NFV uh, is, is one of the uh, key inflection points that, that, uh, that we're seeing in the industry uh, so that we create this infrastructure that is elastic, that is programmable, that is agile, uh, uh, where we decouple the hardware and the software, and that's great. But within the software itself, open source is going to play a very critical role. And if you look at the entire solution stack, whether we're looking at the hypervisors from KVM or you're looking at cloud operating systems with uh, uh, open stack, you're looking at SDN controllers, be it open daylight or ONOS, uh, go all the way up to management and orchestration. Uh, there's now we see uh, open source MANO, OSM coming out from Far East, we're seeing open O, so this tremendous amount of innovation that is coming out 
from the open source community. And there's a lot of this opportunity that the service providers clearly see that they need to really leverage and, uh, uh, and, and, and take advantage of all this open source innovation. So I think it's going to be a very key pillar, a almost bedrock foundation for what uh, we're going to see moving forward with SDN and NFE. How is Tech Mahindra contributing to open innovation? Uh, thank you. Thank you for asking that. Uh, uh, so we at Tech Mahindra, uh, we wholeheartedly embrace open innovation, open source. Uh, and, and, and there are multiple ways. We see that all this great innovation that's coming out, how do we take that and really take it out from these open source communities and take it out from the labs into real networks, into the field and get this technology deployed. So what are we doing? Uh, multiple things. Number one, we are developing some very interesting applications on top of this open source. So take, for example, SDN, Software Defined Networking. We've taken ODL, Open Daylight, as an SDN controller, and we have developed some very interesting applications on top of it. Applications like bandwidth on demand, bandwidth calendaring. So not only through a portal now, a, an enterprise or a user could come and ask, for their bandwidth needs and, and, and get that bandwidth be delivered on demand, but rather they can calendar it, they can schedule it. So if you want to watch a movie in the evening, you need higher pipe, you can do that. Not only that, we created all of these applications with, uh, with the RESTful APIs and layered on top of it, an internet of thing led application for smart cities where we actually brought in cameras, video cameras, and it was a use case that we created for Smart City where you could have video cameras everywhere, uh, generating video feeds, and then uh, uh, you know, on demand, uh, based on events, fire, flood, uh, uh, blast you have. If any event happens, the cameras, it wants to detect the event in a programmatic way, could come over an SDN network and, uh, and uh, uh, reprogram the pipe. The point here being, we, what we did was we took open source and we developed these compelling applications for smart city, for bandwidth and demand, bandwidth calendaring. So that's how we're bringing value on one side. On the other hand, uh, Core, out of on labs, central office being re-architected as a data center. We are making strategic contributions for the Core program, both on the residential Core as well as on the mobility Core now. Uh, so we have carved out team uh, that is contributing both on, on all multiple fronts on uh, on developments. We are, we, we, they, we are making extensions on Quagga and uh, some of the routing applications and con contributing uh, code upstream. We are working on testing and we are working on integration on the core program. And so, uh, you know, as I said, we see open innovation as a key pillar for SCN and NFE and we are wholeheartedly embracing it, whether developing applications or contributing into the main uh, co content of open source. What are the biggest challenges that need to be addressed to enable scale adoption of SDN and NFV? Rather, that is, uh, I would say, the, the, the fundamental uh, driving force behind our thinking and our thought process of how we uh, approach SDN and NFE. What we see is uh, that, the, that, that if, if you really look at the evolution of this industry, I mean, we started, it was initiated uh, with the seminal white paper uh, in 2012. And then we went into this ideation where there's a number of proof of concepts being done uh, across the board. Uh, and we see that there is a need to really bring that scale to speed up this network transformation. Uh, and I think that's, that's critical. I mean, there are, there are a number of uh, visionary service providers who are leading the path. I mean, AT&T's Domain2, Telefonica's Unican, and there are others. I mean, these are just examples, right? So, 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 so some of the, the, the visionaries have broken out, they're leading the path. But I think if you look at the broader market across the globe, uh, there is still uh, the adoption of SC and NFE, uh, that momentum uh, has yet to pick. And that's where we see the opportunity to bring that scale and speed up the overall transformation because the the need is there the the uh, the transformation is absolutely essential to 
create compelling network economics and network profitability in a sustainable way. So, so that's out there. Uh, but there now there's need for skills and there's need for uh, all the automation, test, certification, and, and more that needs to be done to bring that speed. And that's where uh, we as Tech Mahindra are heavily focused on. Thanks for being with us here today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Uh, really appreciate that. Thank you.